This is episode number 714, 714 for all the folks that are keeping track of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And before we get into this free format edition, I'm going to talk about all kinds of things. All right, we have a bunch of things to discuss. I do want to acknowledge a couple of donations that have come in on blog, or excuse me, <laughs> buymeacoffee.com slash ghostpolitics. Uh, put the PC shot on. Uh, Vox Artificial Simp, yes, he's got simps. He donated this at the end of the last ghost show. I buy that for a dollar. Look at it, Mad Thad. I guess you aren't a complete sellout. Of course I'm not, huh? I'm a man of the people, all right, Mad Thad? I'll get to yours in a minute. But I just want to acknowledge that the next ghost show that we have, we are going to put Vox Artificial Simps videos up as the first video in the next ghost show. So FYI, and I do want to say cheers to someone who actually bought uh, the Fuck the Vaughn Chat song and uh, Don't Pause My Neg Hole song. Cheers to you guys. Oh, great. What is Remember this? Remember our deal. Keep bashing Trump. And we won't double dip you again. We already did yeah, it in 2016 real funny. and after nah, I don't wanna, January 6th. You guys are dicks bringing that back up, man. Democrat talking points and you'll be just fine. I'll, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Democrat monkey. I'm not a Democrat monkey, you piece of crap. All right, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but EDP445, hey, ghost, it's your boy, ED, eat that pussy 445 here. Missed watching your show. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. That motherfucker never watched my show. Don't even go there, you piece of crap. And why isn't Mad Thad's uh, dono popping up? I guess these fucking donos take a minute now on blog talk. Or excuse me, buymeacoffee.com slash goes politics. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the nitty gritty, folks. Now we've got, let's briefly go over through the markets. I caution people, buying the dip on this particular come up from the uh, crash that we had uh, late last week, early into this Monday, or last Monday, I should say. And I think people should be very cautious before they start delving into these. I, I, I could sincerely I believe these are high price stocks here. Are you going to talk about Greenland? What, what the hell? What about Greenland? There's a lot of shit that we got to talk about out here, all right? I don't even know what the hell. What's going on with Greenland? Are they taking it up the ass or something over there? Who the hell knows, all right? Anyway, and Duke Orbill, cheers to Duke Orbill out here. Happy Taco Tuesday, Ghost, and to your audience. Cheers, baby, cheers. Thank you very much there, Dick Orbill, with a rumble rant, man. Cheers to you. But as I was stating, I, I think people should just hold off on investing in anything blue chip, anything high-priced right now. I think that these stocks are way overpriced. I've been suggesting to everybody, if they do want to dip their toes in when it comes to buying anything in this market... <laughs> Small caps. All right, small caps and micro caps right now, as I've been stating, are at a 25-year low. And that's what me, uh, the True Capitalist Radio membership, and the Inner Circle have been kind of delving into. And uh, that's what we're waiting for. I mean, that's what uh, that billionaire drunken Miller, uh, if you look him up, that's what he does. He's actually been loading up as of late right now when it comes to small cap stocks. But we got... Retail investors buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip. And I think that that is something that I think people should avoid if they want to save their money. Let's just put it that way. And Vox Artificial with a rumble rant went out uh, with friends a few days ago for tacos, nachos, and drinks. Had a lot of fun. Cheers to Ghost and Chat. Well, I'm glad you're having some uh, multi ethnic food over there in Canada, there, Vox. All right, cheers to you. And put the PC shot on. Here's the Mad Thad donation. I guess you aren't a complete sellout. No, I'm not. All right. I mean, I'm a man of the people. I've been underground, baby. You understand? I've been doing this shit for almost 20 years, and I've been steady flowing in the underground. I am the internet underground. Uh, rate the following food establishments. All right. I'll be in San Hambonio next week uh, for Colossicon. Rate the pro uh, following food establishments. Taco Bueno, not Bueno. All right. Let's put it that way. Bush's Chicken. Uh, I don't know about that. I'd rather have Bill Miller's Chicken. All right. Or, uh, you know, fr uh, Church's Fried Chicken. Uh, the t Fuck you with the ticket. I know what you mean by that. Fuck you. Take this fucking shit off, all right? Fucking. How about the ticket? Fuck off. Anyway, as I was alluding to, all right, folks, I wouldn't be going into this market right now unless you're going to go into possibly entertaining some micro and small cap stocks, in my personal opinion. And look, as I've been stating to everybody out there, once the Federal Reserve cuts rates... 
it, it's going to do a small, you know, little bit of a dead cat bounce, and then <laughs> down she goes. Down she goes. What? How am I not surprised you are defending Padamut Swirl? Debate Ruben Sim. Also, since you're such a shekel goblin, having Ruben Sim on the channel would increase your I audience don't want numbers his since audience. he's far a larger content creator than you. I don't want Bitch. his audience, all right? I don't give a shit about his audience. I hate the tarred tuber circuit, all right? I hate these fucking idiots that are just, just as retarded as the people that they're criticizing, and yet they're supposed to be put on some pedestal. That goes for Turkey Tit Tom, Ruben Sim. All right, if they want something from me, they can pay me, all right? And if not, then go fuck off. I don't give a shit about their goddamn... Oh, you know what I could do? I could give you more viewers than you ever... I don't give a shit! You think I've been doing this so that I can get popular for fuck's sake? Go fuck yourself, all right? But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by President Jay over here, uh, as I stated, once the Federal Reserve cuts rates, that's when everybody is going to feel the effects of the recession. It happens every time there's a substantial economic tightening or a monetary tightening by the Federal Reserve. <laughs> Ghost paid off Thomas Crooks. You say Trump will let Putin go unchecked, but you also said Putin wouldn't have had to balls to attack Ukraine if he were president. I'd shut up with the racism. Yeah, that's a contradiction. You know, you know, uh, Putin, if you want my opinion, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, I think that he has something on Trump and that yesterday's that interview time. proved it, all right? True avoiding the Greenland news radio. Listen, I've got more shit to talk about than Greenland. What the fuck's happening in Greenland over there? Is something happening in Greenland? Is a super volcano wiping it off the face of the earth? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I don't get that. A fucking asteroid fucking wipe that. Then shut the fuck <laughs> up. Buy that for a dollar. <laughs> and we got Kits does a flip here. All right. Hey, hey, Kits, I'll get to you in just a second. Cheers to you, Kits, and happy baller Friday. Or, excuse me, Taco Tuesday. See, I already want it to be a fucking Friday. Uh, put the PC shot on. Sell the first cut rate. All right, Bank of America top global strategist warned stocks could be in for trouble as the economy heads towards a hard landing. Now, let's get to cryptocurrency here. Uh, put the PC shot on. Now, once cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin, <laughs> shot up. I'd buy that for a dollar. What the hell is this? Ghost, you should let Ruben some debate peppermint. Could be good in case peppermint is a pedo or something that's going around right now yeah well if that's the case then you know uh, ruben sim looks like he's making a decent living over there exploiting tards all right he could come out the pocket a little bit maybe yak ass style and maybe we'll talk about it if not then he can go figure it out for himself all right I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, give me a break. I'm not going to say, oh, I will send you viewers. I don't want your fucking viewers, all right? Especially uh, a tarred tuber watchers, all right? I don't want to have nothing to do with those people. All right? I don't want to have nothing to do with those fucking people. I would, I would rather debate someone like a fucked up fucking shitbird, half a <laughs> Nick Fuentes before I... Uh, allow myself to be subjected to some tarred tuber, all right? And that's saying a lot right there. I'll tell you that. I don't even like Nick Fuentes. I think he, you know, to be honest with you, I think it's ironic that he is the leader of some white supremacist, white nationalist, whatever they're fucking labeling him is, and he has the last name of somebody who should be serving you tacos at a taco bar. So anyway, and Vox Artificials, uh, thoughts on Jubilee? Uh, their chicken's pretty good. Pinnacle Quenchers, pretty good, too. Never tried any of them joints, dude. I'll be honest with you, Vox. Never tried any of them joints. But as I was stating, we did talk about how there was a bump up on Bitcoin close to 70K. But only time will tell, all right? And Vox Artificial, uh, will you ever do an X space on foreign policy with Gunter Freeling? No, all right? Absolutely not. Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what I think everybody wants to talk about. Last night, Trump had no control over what the conversation was going to be. No control whatsoever. Ivanka Trump lives at 36. No, no, no. Don't be doxing anybody, you stupid moron. Get to the Greenland news. Dude, shove your fucking Greenland news right up your toys for twats, all right? And we got Trolley Bastard with a rumble rant. You're mad at Trump and Elon? Got 
over a million listeners while only people in the TCR chat room are tarred. Yeah, shut up, asshole. And Vox Artificials, political, laughing my ass off. Politico, that's what they do, all right? I mean, they're a political media outlet, for fuck's sake. Why, why, why is that such a hard thing to, you know, maybe look at as a possible source, for Christ's sake? Urinator just got an award at work for some projects I've been doing in the past couple of months. Also came into a 1K bonus. Are you proud of me? Yeah, I'm proud of you, but that, don't take that as some kind of a gay homosexual turn on or come on. Well, I shouldn't even be making those references. Anyway, once again, folks, this was a complete disappointment. I mean, people were dropping out of the True Capitalist Radio member chat as this damn thing kept wearing on and on. And we were waiting. Where's the policy? When is Trump going to talk about any kind of policy? Completely negating the fact that the Democrats had put up a (laughs) bill. I'd buy that for a dollar. (laughs) Greenlanders for ghosts, you asshole. Not, and look, I'm not touting the Democrats as if they're, you know, something to be proud of. But they put out a bill in the Senate that had everything that the Republicans had been screaming about when it comes to immigration. I'm talking the redefinition of asylum. I'm talking the elimination of chain migration, the elimination of immigration lottery systems, uh, the addition to more Border Patrol agents at the border, funding for a wall, the whole nine yards. And yet, because Trump told the Republicans not to do anything and to kill it, that's why there is nothing that has been done about the border. Will you service my schmeckle? All right, that, that's about enough, all right? And on top of which, there was a lot of weird, incoherent mumbling from Trump himself. I'd buy that for a dollar. Good God. Peter Griffin lives all at right, 31. All speed. right, that, that's enough, all right? See, this is probably all those Reuben Sim Turkey Tit Tom viewers that are coming in here trying to wreck shit. This is a serious show, I asshole. Buy that for a dollar. Oh, you son of a he bitch. He was buried in an unmarked grave in a potter's field because no one wanted to claim his body since no one loved him. You know what? That you guys are going really low. You guys are going really fucking low here. All right, this is a serious show. This isn't the ghost show, like I just said. So cut the crap. But anyway, folks, this was a big disappointment. I mean, I mean, yesterday should show you that aside from no policies that Trump espoused throughout that whole fucking three and a half hour conversation, he was simping for Russia and Putin once again. It's now like a team game. It's now Trump or nothing, even though Trump has not advocated how the hell he's going to make this country better. How? Dude, that's enough. For all these people that are doing the rock ape jokes on text-to-speech, go fuck yourself, all right? He was an ex-member of the inner circle because he died of cancer. You piece of shit! Type G of ghost should go to Greenland. Dude, who the fuck is this Greenland troll asshole? But anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, I didn't hear any policy last night. Nothing. And I noticed that now both candidates... I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, right. Dude, give me a fucking break. I'll, I'll get to you in a minute, fake Ruben Sim, all right? But as I was stating, last night, aside from no policy being outlined, because we don't stand for a goddamn thing anymore, and that interview last night proves it. And it also proves that billionaires, when they do late-night teen talk on the phone, they sound more ignorant than some teamster putting the fucking tail on the end of a Pokemon in a fucking assembly line. Bocce the rock. All right, dude, listen, enough of this crap. Enough of this crap, and I'm getting a rumble rant from Urinator. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to acknowledge that gay sexual harassment. All right. I'm absolutely not going to acknowledge that gay sexual harassment. Uh, But anyway, folks, look, it's not looking good for Trump out here. All right. I know there's a lot of folks that are. I, they're living in La La Land. They're absolutely living in La La Land. But, I mean, the, oh, we shouldn't tax on tips bullshit <laughs> that I she stole that from Trump. Stop, drop, and rock ape and ro- Look, shut the fuck up. Stop talking about rock ape, man. The man died of cancer. Enough. Jesus Christ, man. I'm sorry, folks. All right. These people are obviously paid for by the Trump campaign or some shit. Uh, But it did sound a little lispy. Let's put it that way. He did sound a little lispy. All right, so regardless of what... buy that for a dollar. 
Elon is more co- okay. Great, yeah, more coherent than Ghost. That's great. And Eddie three two four seven five eight. Ghost would never debate anyone. He only lets himself get intellectually blacked by Mega Max. Great. What? Well, but thanks for the two bucks, by the way, you jerk ass. But anyway, look, I just think that Trump may be losing it a little bit. Uh, I don't know what his plan is. He's certainly not campaigning as if he wants to win this election. Uh, this bitch over here, the, and look, everybody thinks that I'm for Kamala Harris. Listen, I'm not for Kamala Harris. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, she is an ex-party girl that has somehow screwed her way into this position. Now, if I were Trump, which unfortunately, you know, he didn't pay me for my services, so I think he's shit out of luck, but I'll give him a freebie here. If I were Trump right now, instead of I'd buy instead that of dollar. lol, he died. I'm not acknowledging it. Heil I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, hold on. What is this? An audio file, folks. What the hell is this? A I'm lot tired must- of you people trying to make me sound like I'm anti-Trump. I am pro-Trump. I am ride or die with Trump. Take that shit off! Take that shit off it! Take it out and stop this! Alright, that's it with this AI shit and all that crap. Alright? The splicing crap, this AI shit, shove it up your goddamn clogged up pooper. Alright? Jesus fucking Christ, man! I'm over here trying to have a serious show here! Son of a bitch. Look, I don't care about Kamala Harris, all right? She's a party girl, all right? She screwed Willie Brown, and now she's here, all right? Now, I'll tell you right now, if I were Trump, instead of trying to play racial politics with a mixed-race woman... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost Granny's location, Ed... G- <laughs> Shut up, asshole, all right? Anyway, shut up! I'm trying to give Trump advice here. All right, y'all think that I'm anti-Trump and shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give him the best advice. The best advice his goddamn campaign is not giving him. Instead of going after racial politics, which certainly didn't work with Hillary Clinton back in the 0908 race in the Democratic primary in South Carolina, what you need to do, Trump, is you need to go and highlight the fact that. This bitch was not elected. All right? This bitch was not elected. She was selected. And everybody in the Democrat primary that voted for Joe Biden got screwed. Rock Ape is buried in green. Jesus Christ. Shut up with the text to speeches, you stupid piece of crap. Eddie. Oh, God. Come on, man. Rock Harper be down in the vision is locker, ha ha ha. The pirate yeah, right. The case of this curvy, ha 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 ha. Typus ris ris ri to make ya this Kelly Vic walk the blank. Ha ha ha. Push course sweet shaft, ha ha ha. Ah, Jesus. Uh, look, that's enough, all right? Don't text a speech unless you're going to ask a question or unless you're going to say something positive. And I don't mean HIV positive, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, if Trump really wanted to focus this campaign on anything, the whole message should be on the fact that Kamala was not elected. She was selected. All right. She was put in this position. And if women are going to want to take a victory lap over Kamala Harris, a man had to appoint Kamala. A man had to appoint Kamala. Why isn't he using this strategy? I have no idea. And Greenland News went... Look, I don't give a shit about Greenland News, dude. <laughs> I'd buy that for a Take dollar. that off! Now take that shit off! Stop it with the fucking doxing, you fucking piece of crap! Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man. All right? I'm telling you. And hold on. Space Train said the trolls are right about Greenland. They found a fossil that showed that uh, the ice sheet melted in the past. Well, no shit. I mean, anybody who took Geology 101 would know that the geologic record shows that this Earth has gone through a lot of different types of natural disaster turmoil, from ice ages to massive floods to volcanic ages to magnetic reversals to polar shifts, the whole nine yards. I mean, give me a fucking break. I learned this shit about 50, 60 years ago. 
Give me a fucking break. Anyway, sorry, but thank you, Space Trains, for uh, letting us know what the hell the 411 is on all this Greenland crap. I, I appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, look, I'm telling you right now, all of you MAGA people, you need to start recognizing that it ain't looking good for your boy here, all right? Look at this. Former aide, Trump feels this election slipping away. And he has nobody to blame but himself. He has nobody to blame but himself. And look, by the way, last night's interview with Elon Musk, doesn't it validate that I've always postulated that Trump, after the assassination attempt, regardless of how or what you think happened that day, after that assassination that attempt... Rock of base cancer diagnosis. Yeah, fuck off, asshole. Fuck off! Anyway, after the assassination attempt by Trump, by big tech, the PayPal mafia, which I named Peter Thiel. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does Ghost say that the night is still young every time he does a ghost show? Because he doesn't have time for anything past 12. Oh, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, this is the combat veteran. This morning when I was putting my squad, I developed a new exercise. This involves a person dropping down with dead weight and his buddy has to squat him. I call them squat rock pay yeah, fuck you, dude. Look, enough of this shit, all right? I'm trying to fucking spark synapses in the brains of folks out here. For heaven's sake. Anyway, ever since J.D. Vance came along on this political bandwagon of Trump... Anyway, we got uh, Vox Art Official who said, Exactly, there are two factions of big tech. Old guard monopolist and new futurist. Take a guess what side is what... Sh yeah, I, 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 that's a very good observation there, Vox. And... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus MSC Christ. MSC Cruises is canceling a 21-night cruise to Greenland that was scheduled to sail on board the MSC Poesia on oh, June 20, 2025. We understand that this may cause inconvenience and we sincerely apologize for the disappointment Who gives a cause, shit? They said. Jesus Christ. And Catcan says Duke Oroville backwards is ghost politics. Try harder next time. What, what are you talking about? You think I'm Duke Orville? Ah, oh, Jesus. This is an audio file, folks. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fuck off. I am fucking broke. Here is some old fuck. Come on, fuck. I am ride or die with Harris. Fuck you, Come man. Come on, fuck. I would follow Harris in hell. I would follow Harris in hell. Come on, fuck. <laughs> Dude, every fucking to sniff like Joe Biden. Come on, up. you fucking pieces Dude, of shit. To sniff like Joe Biden, you dickhead. I'm Jewish. Israel's our greatest ally. The U.S. has liberty. It was a fucking accident. I am right. Take this shit off. Come on, up. Take this shit off. Take it off. God damn it. God. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, yeah, y'all are fucking hidden below the belt today, man. I can tell you that right now. Fucking trolls, get the hell away! Trolls, get out of True Capitalist Radio! I don't want you pieces of crap listening! Get out! Get the hell out! Jesus Christ, man. And Red Eyes Black Dragon Ghost did lines with Stevie B. Are you talking about the freestyle singer? Spring love, come back to me. No, but I've actually been to a couple of his concerts. I'm not joking around. One of them was at a wedding. I'm not joking around. Anyway, as I was stating, people are saying that uh, things are slipping away from old Trump over here. Completely contradict what many of you MAGA people are claiming that oh, Trump is going to take drag queens out of five-year-olds being read to at libraries. For our favorite Fed. J said lives at 40. No, pounds. no, shut. Cut the crap. Cut the crap. Jesus Christ. But anyway, as I was stating, all right, I don't know about you, okay? If you go out and dress as a woman when you're out there for Halloween, that suggests to me that you really want to be a woman, all right? Because I don't know any real man. <laughs> Even for a joke that, for a that wants to dress like a woman, all right? Trump said, get to Greenland. 
But anyway, these are the pictures that were obtained, all right? And, uh, you know, I, I mean... I mean, this is how they reacted, I guess, when uh, they found out that, hey, uh, J.D. Vance just dressed in drag. And y'all take a look at this. Put the PC shot on, all right? This is an exclusive here. Here it is. All right, there's J.D. Vance. Shantae. 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 All right, so look. All of you people out there that are claiming that MAGA is going to somehow eliminate drag queens from reading to five-year-olds in public libraries, I think that you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, all right? So that's all I'm saying, man, all right? You, you people need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. And what is this, Animus Pantera dressed like that before Phil got there? What the fuck are you on about? Look. I'm not, we're not talking about Pantera. We're not, Pantera's not running for fucking president, you piece of crap. All right? All right, Pantera's not running for fucking president. All right, Sticks Hex on Hammer used to do the same shit, but Sticks Hex on Hammer ain't running fucking president, you fucking piece of shit. So why don't you shut the fuck up? Jesus Christ, it's okay, Ghost. What the, why are you so scared? Why are you so scared about, about, about drag queens? What's going on? Everybody's doing it. All the right-wing people are doing it. I mean, look at Sticks Hex on Hammer. He's doing it. Doing it, doing it. Everybody's doing it, Ghost. So why not, dude? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say, but this is the new right-wing America. And you guys continue to ask why I'm not supporting Trump, for heaven's sake? I'm, I'm showing you why. I'm showing you why. For a dollar. Turn off donors. Look, shut up. Why are you even donating if you want me to turn them off? Fucking scumbag. Anyway, <laughs> what the I'd hell? That for a dollar. Why did you showcase footage of Ouija Slayer? Oh, that's that. Now that's that's. All right, never mind. I touche. All right, touche. All right. Anyway, folks, look, I'm, I'm trying to let you all know that this is the reason why I'm not pro-Trump this time around. All right? The Republicans don't have any values. We have no moral... That's copium, for Christ's sake. And paste on in and flashback to that time, 2016, Ghost defended Trump kissing Rudy. I never defended that shit! Shut up! And weekend at Rock Ape. Listen, enough of the Rock Ape stuff, dude. All right, seriously, that shit hurts, man. That guy was a part of my inner circle, and he died of cancer, and you people make fun of him, and I think that's fucked up. I think that's fucked up, and you people are macabre pieces of trash for even going there. I can tell you that right goddamn now. And what is this? We got a rumble rant. Eddie, what about the time you wore urinator like a hockey... Oh, jeez. Let me tell you something, man. If I was a woman, I would probably get Urinator arrested for the kind of crap that he says to me, man. I mean, only gays can get away with this. Only gays can get away with this type of sexual harassment. Because if I was a woman, he would be fucking arrested. I, I straight up, if there is a way, if there's a gay lawyer out there that will... Because I, I, I'm seriously thinking about filing charges about on Urinator for sexually harassing me in, in a gay capacity. I'm not fucking joking around. I want him arrested. All right, or I want some kind of restraining order so he has—he's nowhere near my booty hole. Let's just put it that way. <sighs> anyway, uh, what, 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 where am I at here? All right, Jesus Christ. And speaking of JD Vance, let's continue with the JD Vance kick. I guess take a look at this. Workers allege nightmare conditions at Kentucky startup of JD Vance. I mean, come on, man. You can't tell me that the egoist that Trump is took a look at this guy and said, yeah, this guy is Trump material. He's being forced to have this piece of shit as his vice presidential running mate. Here is the first $5 for the Reuben Peppermint debate fund. Nah, I don't think so. Let's make it happen. No, I don't think so. The people want it. Stop being scared, ghost. I'm, dude, I don't want that dude's fucking... I don't care if he's got a million five subs, dude. I don't want his stupid goddamn people coming to my goddamn show. All right? I don't like the tarred tuber community. I don't like tarred tubers like that fool and Turkey Tit Tom. I don't like them. They're stupid. As a matter of fact, Turkey Tit Tom looks like 
Uh, fucking Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and Rocky Dennis fucked, and out came this piece of shit. I mean, I don't fucking want these people's attention, dude. And fuck you, Animus. Rock Ape caught AIDS in the inner circle. Fuck you. And a uh, poop tickler nation. What's going on in the dome, ghost? Well, why don't you fucking pay 75 bucks and you'll figure it out? Anyway, workers allege nightmarish conditions at the Kentucky startup of J.D. Vance. Of course, because he didn't fucking fund any of this shit. His butt boy, the billionaire Peter Thiel, did. And I'd like to remind everybody that this person met Thiel when Peter Thiel was at Yale, when this guy was a student, and decided to approach him after some speech that he gave, and they've been, quote, friends ever since. I don't know what kind of friends they are, but I'll tell you this right now. Unless you're fucking somebody, that's the only time that you're going to get any kind of money from anything. And I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to insist on that. That is my view. I think that this is the otter love boy of <laughs> Peter Thiel. I'd buy that for a dollar. And hold on just a second. We got uh, Vox Artificials, Radio Graffiti, if no debate. Shut up, Vox. Uh, trolley Bastard, you're the original tar tuber ever since 2008. Yeah, shut up. I'm in the dome, you dumb redneck. Look for yourself. Well, great. I don't care. All right, good for you. I'm glad you're in there. Thank you for the 75 bucks, you stupid prick. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, put the PC shot on. All right, we got Ruben Sim over here. Some fake Ruben Sim. Give the people what they want. Ruben Sim versus Peppermint Swirl will date debate of the century. Hey, Ruben Sim. You've got 1.5 million uh, subs, all right? I don't want your subs, all right? I know you're making a decent living, all right? Let's throw let's throw a G on the table, and maybe I'll think about it, all right? Uh, you know that Pepper... Or excuse me. Do you know that Yak Ass, the Park Street legend, paid, like, what is it, $1,400 to have West Coast Capitalists removed from the show? Can you believe that? So give me a fucking break, all right? Let's, uh, let's start at a G, and, and we'll go from there. I'd buy that for a dollar. Rock Ape is flattened. Fuck you! Fuck off! And look at this idiot. It, lol, he died. Look at this shit. Look at this asshole. Lol, he died. An arrogant bastard. Hey, uh, Ghost, happy Taco Tuesday. I think Trump is too prideful and would rather go scorched earth on big tech than be used. I think that's what he's doing right now, arrogant bastard. There's no way that he's tanking this goddamn election because just because. I mean, he's doing it on purpose. And now he's just pushing the envelope to see how much these Trump tards will continue to support him, no matter what kind of shit he throws on the wall and sticks. Anyway, I feel like he knows what he's doing by sabotaging uh, his own race for the presidency. He isn't a genius by any means, but he isn't a complete dumbass either. Well, that's a very, I think, fair assessment, in my opinion, arrogant bastard, because it makes no sense why he's conducting himself in this capacity. Last night, he had the perfect opportunity to go right at Kamala Harris. He had, I don't know how many millions of people listening. He should have said, hey, look, if you're a Democrat, you should be pissed off. You should be pissed off that the first woman presidential candidate wasn't elected. She was selected by a man, Joe Biden. And everybody who went through that whole primary process in the Democratic Party should feel like they got robbed, feel like it was undemocratic, because in my, and, and I'm sure that's what everybody else thinks, there's something dollar. rotten here. If you got me arrested, would you come visit me for some conjugal visit? You see, looks at this I idiot. I need your dick, daddy. I can't go a no, day without no, you, No, 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 I'm not, I'm not listening to that, Rocky. Urinator! God damn it! You fucking people, stop talking about Rock Ape, man. I don't want to think about Rock Ape, man. He fucking died of cancer, for Christ's sake. I'd buy that for a dollar. Count Binface. Hey, Ghost. Yeah. I know you love this. But listen, those illegals in my yard should be gathered up. And the name of Oh, Lord come on, come Jesus on. Jesus Christ. These filthy have had a reign. It's time for war against no, Bucket. No, 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 listen, uh, we're not condoning that, all right? We're not condoning that. Anyway, we got No Face Killer who said JD Vance having a disastrous startup is actually pretty Trumpian, considering all the failed products and bankruptcies Trump has had over the years. Oh, oh. Wow. Hey, that was uh, No Face Killer there. You know, it was old No Face Killer. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, don't come at me. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger up in here, all right? 
Uh, anyway, um, believe it or not, which both of these candidates know that they can't go tax free on tips. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, fuck, fuck off. I'm not acknowledging that shit anymore. Stop it with the fucking rock ape shit, you fucking piece of trash. All right. But anyway, as I was stating, I find it ironic that you've got. Ah, oh, oh, Jesus that Christ. What? Uh, they repeat. Shut up! Juan from DR and Eddie three two four seven five eight. They pay people uh, to show up and and be pro. Uh, look, I am not being paid by anybody. All right, I'm saying what I'm saying because I believe it. All right, I'm not some fucking chump that's just gonna sit here and say something because somebody threw a few bucks at me. All right, give me a break. All right. So let's just let's just play that for a second. Crazy shit going down in the thunder. I don't care what's going down in the Thunderdome. All right, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and the Thunderdome, you fucking idiot. And Vox Artificials didn't APAC give you a hundred thousand? No, they didn't. But you know, I, I wish they did. Let's put it that way. Devious Dave Rush Limbaugh just died. Shut up, Dave. All right, where's Twinkle Tard? And Duke Orville, they should tax uh, tips more since it's not subjected to Social Security and Medicare in the first place. Very good point there, Duke Orville. Very good point. And Poop Tickler Nation, the dome is melting down right now. I, I don't give a shit. All right, I'm doing a show. Fuck you and everybody in there, right? Most of the people that are in the Thunderdome are a bunch of tards. No, no, no offense, all right? All right, everybody in the inner the, the Thunderdome is a fucking tard. So, you know, I, I don't care. I don't really give a shit. All right, I'm in the middle of a fucking show, all right? Y'all can take it up in the ass over there. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by some fucking stupid dumbass drama shit, here is the, the deciding vote, all right, cast by Kamala Harris in order to go after, or at least the IRS to go after folks that are in the hospitality industry. There it is. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? Jesus Christ, of course, not cookie. Thank you, not cookie. I appreciate it, dude. All right. I'm not going to open it. I don't give a shit about most of those people in the Thunderdome. No offense. It's, that's why it's called the Thunderdome. It's mostly a bunch of tards in there. Vox is in there. That'll tell you everything. All right. I mean, Vox Artificials is in there. That'll tell you everything. So I'm just saying. Now, shut the hell up. This is the deciding vote that Kamala Harris put. That made it legal for the IRS to go after people that are in the hospitality industry, you tards. The gays are 50, the nays are 50. I'd buy that for a dollar. Nope, not going to check the Thunderdome. Thanks for the five bucks. All right, they're going to have to pass some legislation from the folks that are in Congress. I'd buy that And these Congress, dollar. they don't agree on shit. It's time for war. Everyone, Goatsy is busy with the peanuts. Go to my channel, True Hanoi Radio, and type Mr. Nguyen over here, by the way. We have fire sale to spit on GI and make him moink for us. The strong people of Vietnam. V. All v. Right. Yeah, I, I, all right. Thank you, Mr. Nguyen. A long time no see there, pal. All right. See, hopefully, you'll see you soon there, Charlie. And uh, Poop Tickler Nation confirmed Ghost Reads Media rather than checking on his own community. Look, I was just in the Thunderdome, all right? There's a bunch of tards in there, all right? I get it, all right? All right, I, I'm not missing anything. It's a bunch of tards in there, all right? I get it, all right? Great. Yay, spaghetti! Yay! Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted, all right? Now, Kamala Harris, I mean, she should have chosen Josh Shapiro. And we talked about the reason she didn't. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Zoe 101. Ghost is an old chud. I'm an old chud, huh? What are you talking about, man? I'm a fucking bad motherfucker. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, all you young people are out there playing with your pecker shafts to imported Japanese pre-teenage women. I can't even go outside my fucking house without women trying to pull the balls out of my fucking pants, dude. I'm not fucking joking around. All right? Especially you older gentlemen out there that have your own house, your own car, your own income. You should be raking it in right now with women. Jad's threatening P. Yeah, shut up. I don't, dude, I'm not going into Thunderdome, all right? All you people in the Thunderdome, all right? You're fucking tards, all right? 
And I go in there whenever I feel like I go in there because I don't want to fucking deal with your mental retardation. All right? I smell. You know, once you go into the Thunderdome, it smells like a like a fucking raising canes. You know, you just walked into a raising ra fucking chicken tendies. Ah, the fucking nectar of autism you can smell in there. All right. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted, the reason I believe she didn't choose Josh Shapiro was because he was Jewish. Typically correlate community. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! Can y'all cut the shit? All right, cut the crap. Oh God. Whoa, no fucking shit. Congress has to pass laws in order for the IRS to stop taxing tips. Almost like every single president that has ever served in office has worked with Congress to pass laws. Almost like hey. it's their fucking job. Hey, President Jay, w the damn Republicans have had control of the House, and they haven't been able to agree on any fucking thing except that one bill that was an anti-First Amendment bill protecting Israel or protecting criticism of Israel. All right, but of course, you people are stupid. You, you believe anything that you're told. And that's why you are you, and, you know, we're capitalists, you know? And Duke Orbell, cheers to you, man! Why don't we tax enemy? Oh! Oh! That's great! That, fuck you, all right? Fuck you and the Thunderdome. You know what? Taxing enemy. That's a perfect idea. Taxing enemy. Because it's an import, technically, right? It's an import. So, I mean, look, there's already anime stores, there's already anime conventions, there's already an establishment. I mean, but by the way, this happened, for all those that think that this can happen, this can absolutely happen, because believe it or not, there's a special tax on tanning machines and tanning beds and tanning salons. I'm not joking. There is a special federal tax for tanning salons and why aren't why don't we do this to anime? I mean, that's just so perfect. That is so fucking perfect, dude. Tax anime to offset taxing tips. And let me tell you, if they do pull this off, these donations that you're giving me are gonna all of a sudden miraculously turn to tips. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if they pull this off, but they have to offset that with something. How about taxing fucking anime? That's fucking great. That's great. Devious Dave said Trump will make weed legal. I don't think so. Vox Artificials tax anime haters. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that'll work. All right. And uh, Jack is okay. Tax TCR chat members. Hey, I pay taxes on every fucking red set that I got. Are you fucking kidding me? The last thing you want to do is hide anything from the IRS. All right? They'll fucking crawl up your ass with, with a microscope, and it's not a pretty sight. You don't want it to happen. All right? And Animus, for a capitalist, you sure love taxing people instead of cutting spending. Hey, Animus, all I've been doing, I mean, go back into the archive, going back to the first goddamn true conservative radio. That's all I ever talk about, you stupid moron. Of course, Animus, you're some stupid fucking troll terrorist that probably puts about two or three fingers up your shit funnel, gyrating it counterclockwise while watching a goddamn anime, you stupid no pussy getting fucking fruit bowl. All right? So get the hell out of here and go try to find yourself a main squeeze, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. Why should I care about tips? I'm salary. I hope they tax those donations like these more than they do. You should get 10 cents on the dollar if it were up to me. Aww. Your content requires no effort, Aww. as you can see from your AI-generated art, Aww. AI artist. Hey, thank you, Menno Ray. By the way, you've been fucking donating me for fucking three years, so thanks a lot. I appreciate your opinion, but yeah, yeah you know what? Suck it. Uh, suck my dick up to you hiccup. How you like that shit? And Mama Luigi, I forgot to mention that I had a dream where I had lunch with J.D. Vance, and I don't even like the guy. Well... I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's subtly meaning there, uh, Mama Luigi. But anyway, as I was stating, the reason that this Kamala Harris got Tim Walls is because she's doubling down on progressivism. And I think that there is a sentiment amongst the Democrats that many people in the Rust Belt are now turning into borderline socialist communist based upon their small communal living. And guess what? Hey, what's going on? 
driving or working or at the bar with a fifty dollar bill making it rain on these trolls baby here's a tip for you thank you man all right uh working drinking or at the bar cheers to you man and happy taco tuesday all right i appreciate it and look at look at the trolls now look at them in the chat rooms look at them they're molding <laughs> they're molding for christ's sake yeah, that's right. Keep molding, trolls. Anyway, Hera's surprising Rust Belt strength. And why is she having Rust Belt strength? Because this Tim Walls idiot, if he was able to get away with the type of progressive crap that he was able to get away with in Minnesota, a lot of these Dems believe that they can get away with it almost in most of middle America. And that's unbelievable. All right, that's absolutely unbelievable. We got feminist socialists. Appreciate your fans, ghosts. We pay for your lifestyle. I appreciate my fans. I don't appreciate these troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags that are nothing more than a fucking bigger pain in the ass than a fucking sticky shit. All right? And Vox Artificials, count the last five and this towards the $10 radio graffiti fund. All right, really great. And Tesla Cyberheart, Ghost thinks the NLRB is unconstitutional. All right, thanks a lot, dude. All right? Anyway, once again... I think that we need to start worrying. I'm talking about Republicans. We need to start worrying about people in middle America. Froppy, uh, I was at one of your stores, and I noticed that your employee shat himself when I asked about, uh, and he said, my boss is in the back room doing his podcast, and I can't change my diaper right now. I get it. You use them so that you can make everyone. Uh, uh, dude, just shut up. All right, uh, Froppy, just shut the fuck up. All right, this is the true capitalist radio show, asshole. This isn't some ghost show for you to be fucking sitting there acting like some fucking jerk off. Anyway, speaking of Tim Walls, who the fuck is this fucking old queen boomer? Have you seen this guy in action? This guy looks like he's trying to try out for the next RuPaul drag show. He's that effeminate. I don't, I don't understand it. I, I don't know. But anyway, this uh, he is a very recent social media darling. That's news to me. Who the hell wrote this? Simon J. Levin and Maggie Astor from the fucking New York Times. So this is what you're getting here, right? He taught in China in 1989 and speaks Mandarin. All right. Speaks Mandarin. Someone doxed Helmet Boy in the Dome. What the fuck? What, what am I going to do about it? All right. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Now, he's a veteran. Now, there's a big discrepancy here. Now, apparently, the, the story goes, and this is uh, something that has been... And you see, this is what I'm telling you. I'd buy that this is what I'm talking... God damn it. Shut up! Fucking making me fuck off over here. Take a look at this, all right? For all you folks that claim that I don't fucking plan for these shows, take a look at all these fucking... Sh take a look at this shit. Take a look at this shit. Fucking idiots. But anyway, as I was stating, all right, um, where are we at here? I f see, I, for I forgot my goddamn place. You see, you, you fucking pieces of shit. You make me lose my fucking place. You know what, dude? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Seriously, man. I, I mean, I, I fucking hate, like, 50% of you people that are listening, I fucking hate you people. I'm not joking around. If you're a troll terrorist dickhead, if you're somebody that's a completely waste of life, if you think that you're autistic or Asperger's, I don't fucking like you. As a matter of fact, I hate you pricks. All right? I would never be friends with you pricks. And I wish that you people would fucking go away because I don't like you fucking people. All right? I don't like you people. Vox Artificials, he's a brony. I thought you'd be more eager to support him. Whatever that means. Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight. Gall, Walls will give you a run for your money if you challenge him to a drinking contest. Your nephew will probably like to hang out with him. All right. Anyway, look, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm serious, man. Uh, by the way, uh, we're trying to make this fucking show troll-free. All right. And if you would please consider, put the PC shot on, becoming a member of the True Capitalist Radio membership. All right. I mean, we're already at 55 members. I mean, we're trying to make it to 100. And look, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, next month, all right, everybody who's a member, I'm going to I'm going to mail them something that is going to be collectible. I don't want to say what it is, 
but it's absolutely free to everybody that's in there in these fucking rooms here because I appreciate these people. We have nothing but serious conversations. There's no internet drama. There's no turkey tit Tom fucking, what is with that red bum or Reuben kiss ass or whatever. There's none of that shit. All right. There's none of that shit in there. So if you want to have serious conversations and not be a part of this troll terrorist garbage that you hear on these broadcasts of mine, then consider once again to becoming a true capitalist radio <laughs> member. All right. Buy that for a Ghost wants more taxes so he can collect more social security. Otherwise, how can he pay his nurse the engineer to clean his shit-filled underwear? Yeah, great Something comeback. Ghost and his ripper have in common. Great comeback, you fucking jerk nut. Great fucking comeback, all right? And Kitsch does a flip said, what about the story I forwarded, though? Uh, look, I, I don't... I'm, dude, these people don't care, Kitsch, all right? These people don't care. These people care more about tarred tubers like this fucking jerk-off that tried to fucking... I don't, I don't know what he wants, but let me tell you something. Ruben Sim, fuck you, all right? Fuck you. This guy. Put the PC shut on. This fucking guy, all right? Hey, check your email. I don't know what fucking email he's talking about. He didn't fucking email me. Probably emailed some fucking idiot trolling him, all right? All right, I'm not going to be a part of your tar tuber bullshit. All right, I fucking hate all that tar tuber crap. I don't like Turkey Tit Tom. I don't like you, Ruben Sim. And I don't like any of you fucking people that are a part of the tar tuber community. I think you should be demonetized. I think that your brand of fucking commentary is pathetic. You people sputter out sentence fragments. You sound like you're doped up on psychotropic drugs. You sound like you've got the fucking tism. And I can't fucking stand you people. So Ruben Sim, I don't give a shit if you used to listen to me. You're a fucking piece of shit. You, Turkey Tom, and the rest of the tuber community, the tarred tuber community, I want to have nothing to do with you tarred tubers. I want to have nothing to do with you tarred tubers. I don't care if you've got 1.5 million subs. I don't give a shit. You're a tarred. You'll always be a tarred. That's why you and Turkey Tit Tom, you can have all the money in the world and nobody is going to shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up about Greenland News. No fucking woman is going to want to fucking ejaculate your penis because you're cringe, you have no personality, you have no fucking charisma. The only thing that you people attract, I'm talking Ruben Sim and Turkey Tit Tom, is the same monotone jerk-off that they are representing. And I don't want monotone jerk-offs listening to my broadcast. All right? I want, I want fucking badasses listening to my broadcast. I want people that are going to be players. I want people that know how to spoken. All right? Not, hey, it's me, Ruben been sim here and i just want to tell you that i'm talking like the same fucking jerk off just like penguin zero and just like turkey tit tom and then the, <laughs> the fuck out of here get the dollar. fuck out of here with that shit all right so fuck you ruben sim fuck turkey tit tom fuck tarred tubers all right all right fuck tarred tubers and ruben sim if you want fucking peppermint swirl you pay me all right i'll get you peppermint swirl other than that Fuck you and fuck your viewership, and you can tell your viewership I said that, all right? Hey, Ruben Sim and Turkey Tit Tom, you can tell all your stupid pussy whip viewers, I tell them, I, you tell them I take, they take it up the fucking ass. You tell them, I told them they take it up the fucking ass, all right? They're scum, all right? They're the reason why America's being flushed down the toilet, all right? Fucking piece of shit. And what is this? Trolley bastard. Only Tards and Austis listen to your show. Oh, yeah, Trolley. Is that what you are there, Trolley bastard? Well, then get the fuck out of here. All right? I've told all these Tards that listen to me, all these goddamn autists, all these stupid troll terrorists to get the fuck out of here. I've told them time and time again, I wouldn't piss on these people if they were on fire. All right? I wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire. So, once again... Uh, Ruben Sim, fuck you, and Turkey Tit Tom, fuck you, and any other tar tuber, all right? Fuck you. All right, fuck you. Piece of shit. And what is this, 832475? Hey, whoa, Dad, you're sounding like you could use a beer. Yeah, I'm going to have a beer, but not with you fucks. I'll tell you that right goddamn now, all right? I don't want to have a fucking beer with you pieces of shit. Jesus Christ, and Vox Artificials, we still love you, Dad. Don't call me your fucking dad! I'm not your fucking father, you fucking pieces of shit! Stop calling me your father! 
Jesus Christ, that pisses me off every time you make that reference, man. Every time you make, hi, we love you, Dad. 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 Shit, man. People fucking piss me the fuck off over here, man. I'm, I'm just a guy just trying to do a show, man. What is it? Name. Winden win username. Hung Ben Bein. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Just shut up. Shut up, man, with the fucking dogs, man. Shut up. What is this? Put that Braze browser back on the screen. I believe I saw black. Fuck you, dude. All right, fuck you. Fuck you! <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hello, your Camaro RS09. Once again, no thanks, Ghost. I got other things to focus on. I got problems to work. I didn't ask you, Camaro RS09! Who gives a shit? I hope you get monkey pox, you fuck! Jesus Christ! You see the kind of crap I gotta put up with here? This is supposed to be a serious show, man! This is supposed to be a serious fucking show! Christ! How long have I... Look, I've only been on here for an hour and 24 minutes, man. It feels like I've been on here for like a fucking few hours, for heaven's sake. You know what? Where's my pipe, man? Where's my pipe? All right? I gotta fucking... I gotta smoke something here, all right? Please excuse me, all right? I know that I'm taking time off the show here to be partaking in smoking tobacco, but by God, have you been fucking listening to what I have to put up with here? And look at this, some idiot named Poop Burger with a Rumble Ranch. Shut up, autist. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep coping, you autistic piece of crap. All right? I can't wait till they take the tarred card away from you fucking pricks. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. All right? That'll be the day, baby. It'll be a great day. A great goddamn day in America when we take the tarred card away from autists, baby. It'll be a great goddamn day in America. And Vox Artificials, have a drink before you get to Radio Graffiti. You know what, Radio Vox, I'm not going to get to Radio fucking Graffiti, you fucking jerk off. All right? You think I'm going to get to fucking Radio Graffiti after you fucking pieces of shit ruin this very serious show? Fuck you. All right? Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, my God. And President Jay, ghost protects gay furry groomers on... Ru Shut up. That's a fucking lie, President Jay. All right? Yeah, that's why Ruben Sim over here is trying to get. Hey, I want to talk to Peppermint Swirl, and I'll, 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 I'll promote you on my page, and, and it'll give you all kinds of viewers. Fuck you and your viewers, all right, Ruben Sim? You sound like somebody who is legitimately behind the other end of a glory hole in a truck stop bathroom. Fucking sick bastard. All right, give me a fucking smoke. I'm sorry, I'm smoking tobacco here, all right? I'm sorry. Let me have a smoke. <clears throat> gotta hold it in, you gotta let it hit the brain, all right? <clears throat> gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? And Mama Luigi, oh, did you stand with Sneeko or Critical? F fuck both those pricks, all right? A bunch of overrated fucking monotone jerk-offs, man. Does anybody have a personality anymore? Does everybody talk like some monotone jerk-off? Hey, how you doing, man? It's Critical here, and I was going to talk about the most fucking streamer of all time. And I'm a fucking short, little, fucking long-haired manlet. Fuck out of here with that crap. And Poop Burger dodged the draft, suck my shaft, show is dead, mauled harder, old man. Yeah, thanks for the two bucks, all right? Anyway, Vox Artificial's dad would rather eat 40 pounds of wings than do radio graffiti. Yeah, I actually would. I actually would. 40 wings, not 40 pounds of wings, jerk off, all right? And Camaro RS09, I was serious, but I guess an extra dollar for the radio graffiti fund. We ain't having radio fucking graffiti, you jerk dick. All right, how many times do I have to tell your stupid autistic ass that I'm not your fucking mother that you can... You can look, do you think that y'all can do this to me? Here, let me show you this. Y'all think that I'm, at, I'm like that, your tarred mother? That you could just fucking do some, like, you know, shit to me and I'm just supposed to do it. I'm just supposed to be like, okay, Billy, we'll go ahead and do whatever it is that you want to do, Billy. All right? But but don't have a meltdown, Billy. Don't have a meltdown, Billy. Please don't. Don't have a meltdown. Is that, is that it? You think that that kind of shit that you do with your stupid shit bird parents, you think it's going to fucking work with old ghost here? Huh? I'm asking you a question. You think it's going to work with fucking old ghosts, the same shit that you fucking pieces of shit do to your parents? Because if you think so, then by God, I'm doing something wrong. 
by God, if you think that that's going to work with me, then I'm doing something very goddamn wrong. I can tell you that right goddamn now. And hold on, what the hell is this? Poop burger, give us radio graffiti. I'm not giving you no fucking radio graffiti, you dickhead, all right? Fuck off! And what is this, Jack? Okay, let's block disability money, and I spend it on Social Security so that boomers can sit on their ass and whine all day. Shut up, asshole. Vox Artificials, if I put in another tent... No, no, I don't think so. This is how you fucking assholes are acting right now. Let me show you this, all right? This is legitimately all of you. This is legitimately all of you right now when it comes to radio graffiti, all right? This is all of you... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, folks. I fucked up this fucking shit. God, I I that for a dollar. Fuck off! Hello. Don't worry, Mr. Fuck off! Here, France seems much nicer than London. I see. Ah, two men. I hate you, Fox! Street. Oh, a I hate fucking people! Ah, Paris. Truly a majesty of his majesty. Jesus caliber. Christ! Perhaps I'll kill William Cannon here. I'm gonna get the fuck off here. I can't stand doing this fucking shitbag show for you fucking dumbasses. All right? I'm not fucking joking around. This is the way you fucking tards are. Put the PC shot. This is fucking you. This is all of you right here. Applebee's door. Can't have Applebee's. No cash. Let go. Applebee's door. All right. No Applebee's today. This is you. You can have hot dogs. This is legitimately all of you. No cash. This is legitimately all of you. Yeah. Applebee's door. Get this shit out of here. That's, that's, dude, that's all of you pieces of shit. That's all of you pieces of shit right here. Son of a bitch. All right, folks. Look, I, 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 am, I am really fucking done with this show. I, I can't stand you people. Uh, I, 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 dude, all I want is a serious true capitalist radio show, and all we get is this crap. You know, all we get is this fucking garbage, and I, I just can't stand it. <laughs> all right. Buy that for a dollar. Hell. See, look at this shit. Look, they're talking about my dead dog Templeton, man. Are you, what, what a bunch of dicks. You know that? What a bunch of fucking dickheads. <sighs> all right. Anyway, look, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. All right, I deserve more respect than this. I'm going to try to do a true capitalist radio tomorrow, and hopefully we can shake off these turkey <laughs> Tom assholes. All right? Hopefully we can shake off these stupid Reuben Sim turkey Tom fucking turkey tit assholes. I can tell you that right now. I don't like these pricks, and I don't like that they're a part of this goddamn show, and I hope that them and their stupid fucked up shitbird fan base find someplace else to go hang out. All right? Because I don't want them fuckers, I don't want any of you here, alright? I blame Ruben Sim and the goddamn Turkey Tit Tom for this, and you guys are pieces of shit, and I hope you all get demonetized. Review Bra has more fucking talent than you pricks, and all that d dumbass eats is fucking fast food, and here I am, once again, it's me, Review Bra, with another food review. And here I am, gonna talk like a Todd, so I can talk really slow, so that I can juice you people out of 12 to 15 minutes worth of content, and I'm gonna talk like this very slow. Fucking idiots. How much for radio graffiti? Dude, listen to me. I am not going to do radio fucking graffiti. Do you understand me? I am not gonna do radio fucking graffiti. Let me repeat that one more again. I am not going to do radio fucking graffiti. <sighs> All right. Anyway, we got Mad Thad, even though these things aren't showing up on Buy Me a Coffee. Mad Thad said, put the Brave uh, browser back on the screen. I believe I saw a tab to blacked. <laughs> fuck off, Mad Thad. All right, fuck off, dude. And we got Cookie Shit Lips. Speaking of critical, have you heard that he said that it's totally fine with children being allowed to have gender change and go through hormone therapy as long as, quote, everyone is consenting consenting while debating Sneeko? I did hear that, and I think that he's now trying to go, you know, into hiding a little bit. All right, he's trying to go into hiding just a tad bit, all right? And, you know, he shouldn't have said that. There's no justification for that. Duke Orville, hey, did you mention something about Ukraine invasion of Russia? 
Well, let's go there. All right. Cheers to Duke Orville. I, I know he's one of a serious listeners, man. So let me let me go ahead and transition to a little bit of <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. A little bit of Ukraine here. Do radio graffiti. Then Ruben and Peppermint can debate. It would be better no. than the two banime stuff that you How want. about no? How about no? Anyway, as you know, let's go ahead and talk about Ukraine actually invading the borders of Russia. And uh, according to reports, they have a hundred square miles at this point in time, or a thousand square miles, uh, my, my square kilometers, my apologies, thousand square kilometers and moving forward. And uh, it doesn't seem like they took in much uh, resistance. Uh, take a look at this. We entered easily, said the Russian troops involved in the Russia incursion. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yo, Hambone, seeing as you covet your shekels, how much would it cost me and the boys to run a train on Mrs. Ghost? Tyrone told me he pounds her blown out meat sack for free on Saturdays. He said it shouldn't yeah. be a problem. How my, much? My fucking fans, by the way. All right, my fans. Fuck you, Walmart Bill Cooper. All right. And uh, we got Jack. Uh, Jack is okay. If we spend enough money, Radio Graffiti, you'll cave in as always, you whore. I'm not a whore, you asshole. And Rock's ass, great show so far. Ruben Sim is a gifted retard. Great. Thank you for validating that the guy's a fucking tard. I can tell you that right now. Thank you for validating that. But anyway, as I was stating, folks, this right here is something that we have been waiting for. And I sincerely hope that Ukraine continues all the way to Moscow and either eliminates uh, Vladimir Putin or Vladimir Putin has to get out in exile. Because I'll tell you right now, if Putin is no longer around, and if by chance Trump is elected as president... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Did you hear about Russia? <laughs> Fuck off with the Greenland shit! Fuck off! Anyway, as I was stating, I would sleep a lot better at night if Putin was no longer around and... Donald Trump was president, all right? Because he would no longer be able to simp off Putin any longer. I'd buy any that longer. For a dollar. Oh, Jesus hey, Christ. Ghost. Cut it out. Please poke my bum hole. Cut it Get out. Your radio graffiti. We that is not Duke Orville. Shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up, all right? I've had enough of you people with this text to speech bullshit. Cut the crap. This is your last fucking warning, man. Cut the shit. Anyway, I think, in my opinion, this is shock and awing the Russians at this point because what I think is about to happen, in my opinion, is an Alexander the Great type strategy in which Alexander the Great used the infamous. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But that's my assessment, in my opinion. When's the next ghost show? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Here, once again, uh, a mad dad. Yeah, yeah, blacked. Uh, cookie, shit lips. Uh, we heard about the critical and Sneeko thing. Mega Max 578, ghost. Sp English or Spanish? English all the way. Are you fucking kidding me? We need to make a law that English is our first language. Are you fucking nuts? It's the language of business. It's a language of law. And Vox Artificials, ghost... Uh, the advances in lipstick are just drone strikes. Ukraine is not advanced that far. Well, I don't know. I have footage that shows otherwise. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Rox asks, one last donation for now. I need to spend the rest of my furry, hypno-transgendered, feet-tickle torture commissions in your name. Cheers. You fucking sick prick. And Camaro, honestly, a Camaro RS09. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hold on. What is it, Cuba? Cuba? Long time no donut. Did you put on Madoka Magica Rebellion for movie night last month? If not... Is it still on the table for movie night? No. I'm not too sure if we're ever going to have a movie night, if you want my view. And Camaro RS09, honestly, I wish war was just politicians fighting each other in a gladiator cage. Well, that's not how it's been. I know Camaro RS09, we all wish that. But if you take a look at the hallways of history that are stained with the folks that have lived in those eras with their blood, then you'll realize that, you know, human beings have always been doing this shit, you know? And uh, LB Capitalist wanted to know when the next ghost show is. I don't know when the next ghost show is, dude. I don't know. I mean, every time I do one, I tell you pricks. I can only do one for about six or seven hours, 
or it's going to completely throw off my whole fucking week, my whole schedule. But you fucks don't give a shit, so I, I don't know. Uh, I'll do it whenever the fuck I do it, all right? Now, one of the things that uh, Ukraine has taken control of, believe it or not, I hope that you're now starting to understand that this is why we do what we do. <laughs> I'd buy that all right? for a dollar. And Jacev said, who the fuck sent me pizza? Dude, that, that, you, you don't live in the fucking Castro district. You live in the fucking Castro district of, of San Francisco? Everybody walks around fucking naked over there. It's so gay. I'm not joking around. If y'all don't know what the Castro district of San Francisco is, look it up. You got old queens walking around buck naked, all right? But anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, this is yet again another advantage of Ukraine and yet one step closer for either Russia, especially Putin, telling all Russian citizens to evacuate. I'd buy that for a dollar. Docks all over the place in the dome. Well, you know, you, uh, you know that's the dome. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, what I think is going to happen here is Putin is going to detonate or melt down or do something to this power plant, this nuclear power plant in order to set off some kind of a dirty bomb. Anyway, cheers to Kitsu, man. I hope they go all the way into Moscow. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. And what is this? Who the hell said Vox Artificial spoken like a true John McCain fanboy? I never liked John McCain. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Don't get all horned up about it. What are you talking about? Look, it'll be a great day. A great goddamn day in American history when Putin is defeated within his own goddamn country. It'll show that dictatorship does not rule and it can be defeated. No matter how many people are simping for it across the world. It can be defeated. So get the hell out of here with that crap. All right? Get the hell out of here with that crap. Anyway, sorry about that. As I was stating, all right, here you've got Chinese from old regimes trying to tell uh, Xi Jinping that, hey, let's let cooler heads prevail and let's iron things out so that we can do business once again with America. Coming together just in case China gets uppity over there in the South China Sea. <laughs> I love international relations, baby. I love it. And what is this? Vox Artificials. Have a drink. You'll be... F no, I'm not doing radio graffiti, dude. I I'm not doing it. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, as I was stating, that's uh, China right now at this point in time. I'm telling you right now, not looking good, baby. All right? Not looking good. And look at Vox Artificials with a $20 bill. This one and the $10 I gave you is radio graffiti. Man, that can't even buy me a goddamn burger and fry meal at a goddamn McDonald's. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But anyway, as I was stating about Pakistan, they're having a major problem trying to quash this goddamn uh, terrorist problem. And look, they're doing everything they can. They're not just trying to quash the problem, uh, you know, via hard style, you know, try to kill the terrorist type of thing. When it comes to the Balakistan separatist, which we've talked I'd buy about. That for a dollar. You think Trump and Vince McMahon ever swapped daughters for personal sex toys? Oh, to use? God, dude. Just shut the fuck up, you sick bastard, all right? Just shut up. Anyway, the Balakistan people were actually in a sit in. And wait a minute, Mega Max 578, watch out, guys. He might make a lame excuse not to do a ghost show tomorrow. Well, listen. If I don't do it tomorrow, the next show, I'm obviously going to do a ghost show, all right? I'm just saying. You all know that er the next show, regardless of what it is, is going to be a ghost show, all right? I but I'm going to do it tomorrow because I, I certainly don't want to do it on Baller Friday or anywhere close to Friday. Let's put it that way, all right? All right, what, what do you want? What the fuck is this? What ghost acts like we do to him every show? Are you kidding me? You do this and then some to me every show, you fucking troll terrorist scumbags. All right, look at this shit. That's what you fuckers do. All right, that's what you fuckers do. Every fucking show is right. All right, if not worse, if not worse than that shit. Now you've got these tar tubers coming at me, which I don't appreciate. I don't like tar tubers. All right. I don't like tar tubers. 
And yet I've got these fuckers coming at me. You know, this fucking Ruben Sim and this fucking turkey tit Tom jerk off. You think I want to be pursued by these fucking losers? Huh? You think that I want their stupid two-bit loser demographic viewer base to be coming to my show? Absolutely not. But it shows you, all right, all of you people out there, now that you got Turkey Tit Tom wanting my attention, you got Ruben Sim wanting my attention, this should show you that I am the internet underground. Don't you understand that? I am the internet underground. And everybody out there knows it, all right? Anyway, I'm going to go into the True Capitalist Radio member chat room right after the show. And cheers to LB Capitalist, who just became a member um, give me about 30 minutes, and I'm going to go smoke a little bit, maybe have a couple of beers, and I'm going to go kick it in there. And we're going to be talking serious discussion. I know Kitsu's probably got the 411 on what's going on with the Ukrainian situation. Uh, we're going to talk about other subject matters that are very serious. And if you're a serious conversationalist that wants to talk about finance, economics, uh, domestic politics, international relations. If you want to get the 411, what I'm going to present on this show before I actually present it, then you might want to take a look at the True Capitalist Radio membership chat room. All right, hold on. Uh, Devious Dave. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, fuck you with the Greenland news. Devious Dave, can I have Twinkle Tard's invite to the Capitalist Radio chat room since he died eating a clam at Red Lobster? He canceled his he canceled his subscription, dude. Uh, Quaker ghost, ghost. I've got lovely news. My two children have been born. Hey, congratulations, man! You got twins. It's a bit early, but they're both fine. Wife's in recovery, and I'll be seeing them soon. Cheers to that, and wish us well. Well, good luck to you there, Quaker ghost. Twins, baby. Man, that's <laughs> it's bad enough having one. Now you got double the fun. You know what I'm saying? Double shoes, double pampers, uh, du double double everything. Oh, my God. Hey, congratulations. All right, regardless of, of how much the costs are, what they give you in sentimental value and what they give to you in memories and what they give to you in love, far beyond is the cost of anything, in my opinion. So congrats, and make sure to raise them well. Make sure to raise them well. Camaro RS49, all right. I hope you keep the promise, Ghost. Have a good night. I will be here, if not tomorrow, at the very latest Thursday, but I'm going to do tomorrow, Ghost Show. We had one last uh, Wednesday. We'll have one this Wednesday, all right? And like I said, the uh, Vox Artificial Simp, you're going to be the first video on the next Ghost Show. So cheers to you, man, all right? Anyway, folks, man, what a show. I mean... I've been on here for less than two and a half hours. I feel like I've been on here for five, for heaven's sake. Look, there's going to be a ghost show tomorrow or Thursday. We'll have an early radio graffiti and all that good stuff. As I stated, join the True Capitalist Radio membership. All right? I'm in there almost every night discussing what we discuss here on the True Capitalist Radio Show. I'm talking about the serious subjects. No troll terrorism. No internet drama. We don't tolerate any of that shit in there. So cheers to all of you out there that is a part of the True Capitalist Radio membership. We're almost to 100 members. We're getting there. We're almost to 100 members. Anyway, thank you guys in the True Capitalist Radio chat room. Cheers to each and every one of you, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I will be there in about 30 minutes. All right. Until the next show, which will be the ghost show, either tomorrow or Thursday. I'll see you all then. All right. Cheers to everybody in here. I appreciate each and every one of you that are listening, whether you're a serious listener. Although, if you're a troll terrorist, get the hell out of here. You're a piece of crap. If you were in front of me right now, I'd... That's what I would do to you, all right? But all the serious folks out there, cheers to each and every one of you. And once again, consider becoming a chat member uh, so you can talk to us seriously, all right? Anyway... I guess the next show is a ghost show. Oh, Christ. Until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo! Who farted?